Hi guys, this is Peter from Stage Tracks. Welcome to another Stage Tracks tutorial. Today I would like to talk about organizing your song library. So let's get going. You can see we are in the song screen and we have already imported a couple of songs. So what is the best way to organize? Probably a playlist. Um, therefore we go to the playlist tab and we create a playlist by tapping on plus. Let's give it a name. Um, let's say we want to create a dinner set list. So, before I open the set list, everywhere where you have a list of songs or playlists, um, you can open a context menu by swiping to the left. Usually you can delete an entry, a song or a playlist, or in this case there is a, a context menu available where you can rename this set list or duplicate it. Now let's open it. How do we add songs to it? Again, with the plus button at the uh, toolbar. And here we see all our imported songs. Um, we can just select the songs you would like to add, they are added in the order uh, we select them. So let's go with these three songs. And you can see um, all three songs have been imported. Um, now, a couple of options you have uh, in the playlist. You can change the volume. This is a dinner playlist, it shouldn't be that loud. Let's say minus 8 dB. Um, we can give it a color and we can reorder it, for example, shuffle it. Or we can also reorder it manually, just hold an entry and drop it anywhere. Or you can enter edit mode and then use these drag bars on the side. Here you have also the option to select multiple songs and then perform some actions uh, with the lower toolbar on these songs. Okay, but we will get to that in another part of the tutorials. So, setlist1 has been created. Now, another option to create a setlist is if we start with songs. Let's go to songs. Again, here is uh, an edit mode that you can engage and in this edit mode you can select multiple songs. So let's say we want uh, a party playlist with some party songs. Uh, let's say Freak Out, Black or White and Get Lucky. Um, these three songs are selected. Now to create a playlist or add them to an existing playlist, we select the folder icon and uh, you can already see our previously created playlist, but we will create a new one that's called Party set and we select it. So let's exit edit mode and here you can see uh, the created playlist. Now um, another way to organize your songs is not by using playlists but uh, with the keywords feature. With keywords you can do very flexible filtering in stage tracks. And uh, first, how do we create keywords? Um, again, in edit mode. By the way, this does also work in edit mode in playlists and you can also assign keywords to playlists. Um, but here we are in songs, so we have engaged edit mode. Again, we uh, select a couple of songs, let's say these three, and tap on the keyword icon in the toolbar, add a keyword, and this screen is empty because we did not define any keywords yet. So we create a keyword, it's called party, and select it, and we want another keyword uh, that's called favorite. You can create as many keywords as you like and each entry can have as many keywords assigned as you like. This makes it very, very flexible. Much more flexible than using, for example, uh, a folder hierarchy. Okay, let's say done. Uh, exit edit mode and now how do we show 
uh, or filter by these keywords. On top of uh, the song list, there is this filter entry and you just select it and uh, can say, I want to see all party songs. Select done. Now only the party songs are displayed. Um, I see we have a mistake. My way is clearly not a party song. So we want to remove it here. Um, so you can do it either the way I shown you before in edit mode or if you just want to edit a single song, tap the eye icon, the song details pop up. You see here the keywords. We select them, deselect party because this is not a party song. And as you see, it is already removed from this list. So um, with keywords and playlists, you are basically able to uh, do any kind of even complicated uh, filtering that you want. Um, for example, if I open the filter, um, there are two blocks, include keywords and exclude keywords. So you can, for example, show all party songs which are not favorite. We don't have any because all our party songs are our favorites. But um, including keywords and excluding keywords is very, very powerful. You reset it by tapping on clear. So that's it for today. Um, I hope this was useful for you. Again, if you have any comments or wishes for another uh, tutorial episode, please get in touch in the comments section or on the support forum. And um, I hope we see you in the next episode. Bye bye.